European record set by the GDR way back in 1985. Poland, France, Switzerland, Germany, Great Britain, Italy, Netherlands and Ukraine have qualified for this final. Pinto lead off for Germany and Philip leading off for Britain. And for the Netherlands we've got Jamil Samuel. So there's the Polish team on the inside, Forkasiewicz, Popovic, Kapala, Kilbysinska and Svoboda, the brilliant youngster. France, Pinafua, Distelbonne, Gale and Akakpo. Switzerland had a brilliant qualification with Del Ponte, Accio, Ellen Sprunger, having seen her sister already in action, and Hora. And the first of the favourites, Pinto, Maya, Luke and Kemper and Haase. Luke and Kemper and Haase are excelling last summer in the European under-23s and juniors. And then Great Britain, Asher Phillip, who's fourth in the individual event, Dina Asher-Smith, the 200-meter champion, Bianca Williams and Daryl Neita. Then in six, we have Italy, Siragusa, Hooper, their double champion, Amide and Allo. Then seven, here comes the roar of the crowd. Jamil Samuel will lead off and she'll pass to Daphne Skippers to run the back straight. Then Tessa Van Chagen and Naomi Sedney. And the experienced Ukraine team, Pol, Porebnia, Remyan and Brizgina. Some of them coming back from the winning team of 2010. Four by 100 metres, women's final. Poland and Great Britain favourites, but how can the Dutch get on, particularly with skippers, who were just waiting there to run the second leg? Poland, France, Switzerland, Germany, Britain, Italy, Netherlands, Ukraine. Germany in four, Britain in five, Netherlands out in seven. A good start for uh, Britain out there in lane five. Asher Philip will hand over to Asher Smith and she'll be up against Daphne Skippers. Skippers going way out there, but it's also the British, I think, still in the lead. Dina Asher Smith will hand over to Bianca Williams. Terrific leg, of course, by Skippers, as one might expect. And the Germans going well. The British, the Dutch and the Germans, the favourites, are clearly the first three in this race. And who will hand over first? It's pretty close, the Dutch on the outside, the Germans and the British, but what a run by the Dutch team. Tremendous roars, they've been run down by the others, but Sydney is going to hold on. And in fact, the Dutch win by a clear margin, with Britain second and Pinto third. And their national record has just been obliterated with a time of 42.05 for the Netherlands. The greatest run by a Dutch sprint relay team since the days of Fanny Blankers Kern. The national record was 42.32, and they have a nice that we'll just wait for the official time to come through I think it has 42.04 what a leg inspired of course by Daphne Schippers but didn't they all run well well I think it's not just a triumph for Daphne Schippers when you look at that team they were well drilled we're looking here at Janelle Samuel Sydney Van Schagen terrific runs by all of them motivated with the backing of the vast majority of these 17,000 crowd it was a fantastic performance from the gun to the tape by all four women not just the 100 meter champion all credit to all four women in the Dutch side and they ran superbly the baton handling was terrific as well that was an up a lesson to every single team around Europe Well, it's wonderful how well the Netherlands team are doing here in Amsterdam, led by the sprinters. Skippers has really inspired them. And talking to Dutch journalists before this event, well, they thought that they had a chance of a medal. I'm pretty sure they didn't think they were going to run away with the gold just like that. 
Well, we knew that they had a talented group, um, particularly Jamily Samwell, who's done well at junior level and has been a training partner for a long time for Daphne Shippers. But, well, here we go. This is Shippers on the second leg here. We'll hand over to Van Schagen. And then finally, Sedney bringing them home at the end. And uh, at the one stage, it looked like she was being run down a little bit, but she'd got such a lead and she ran so well. So here she goes, and there's no way that the British and the German teams could catch the flying Dutch woman. Naita just bringing Britain home just ahead of the German team. Ukraine in fourth, and it's good standard. Four teams inside 43 seconds. But for the home fans, surely one of the great moments of these championships. The Netherlands taking the gold medal with 42.04, a national record. From Britain, 42.45, Germany, 42.48, Ukraine, 42.87.